uh, with us, we have our two uh, young ambassadors, DAD young ambassadors. I'll quickly introduce them. Our first DAD ambassador is Raunak Changedia. He is doing masters in mechatronics uh, at Kaiserlautern uh, University of Applied Sciences. He is a very active member of student associations there. So we are looking forward uh, to his presentation after our presentation. So he will also give a short presentation about his um, you know, experiences in Germany and gives, uh, give you also tips about um, studying in Germany. Our second uh, young ambassador is Venus Kasha. Uh, she went to TU Berlin in 2014 and 15 under the DAD IIT Sandwich Master Program in the field of architecture. So she will do a presentation after the presentation of Ravnav Changedia, and she will also talk about her experiences in Germany. So to start with the presentation, uh, we will have a presentation in three uh, different uh, three points. The one is before you take off uh, to uh, Germany, then after your arrival in Germany, and then we talk about students' life in Germany. Before we start with our points. Let me just uh, first make you aware with this um, uh, tool. Uh, we do a presentation, three presentations consecutively. After that, we will give you a slot to ask us questions. If you want to ask us questions, you will find a hand symbol on your on your panel. If you raise or click on that uh, um, hand symbol, you'll be able to. We will know that you want to ask a question, and then you can ask a question. Just to make sure that uh, we are audible to you, can you just raise your uh, or click at the hand button so that we know that we are very much audible to you. Thank you so much for doing that. Yeah, so I'm sure most of you are now um, looking or applying for your student visa in Germany. Some of you have already applied, have received your visa, or some of you are in a process of visa application. For visa application, of course, you can apply to the nearby German um, consulate. You need a certain documents for visa application, which you can find on the respective consulate's website. The, uh, the visa application form will also be available there. Whatever queries regarding visa application you have, you can directly ask the visa center as they are the uh, final authority to answer um, all your queries. For visa uh, app uh, application, the important thing is the blocked account, which you most of you are uh, already aware of. You can open a blocked account in a German bank or in a Kotak Mahindra, both this uh, Deutsche Bank or Kotak Mahindra. Uh, you can uh, after only after opening a blocked account, you can then apply for a, um, a student visa because that is an absolutely mandatory requirement to have a blocked account as your financial proof. You need to block certain amount of money, which is pre-decided by the consulate and which is the amount is uh, available um, at the consulate website. So you can pre-check that and then uh, open a blocked account accordingly. For visa, important is also the overseas travel and health insurance. You can open an overseas travel and health insurance from certain agencies in India. The list of insurance agency you can also find on the respective consulate's uh, website. And to refer to a uh, German consulate, for example, to the Maharashtra region, one can go to Mumbai, and we have given a, a website here, so you can refer to that, or you can simply Google a uh, German consulate nearby you. Now, the second important thing before you go to Germany is look for the accommodation where you will stay in Germany. There will be uh, different uh, options for you to stay in Germany. The one is dormitory or a student hostel. The second is you can uh, stay in a shared apartment uh, with the other students. And uh, the third one is a private apartment. There is a certain uh, distinction in the cost, not very large uh, difference. Most of the students in Germany prefer a student hostel or shared uh, flats. The rent is somewhere around 300, 250 euros to 300 euros. It depends on where you are uh, staying in Germany. 
to find an accommodation the best thing is to contact your uh, international office check with them what uh, opportunity what opportunities are there they will send you uh, websites for that then you can online uh, try to find out and uh, block uh, your accommodation if possible if you don't find any accommodation you go then you can certainly uh check some other possibilities of youth hostels or checking a youth hostel or checking in um hotel for your uh, few initial uh, days in at that uh, your university town when you find an accommodation online you can uh, you sometimes have to sign a contract or when you uh, not uh, or before you go to germany but sometimes after you uh, arrive in germany you need to uh, first uh, check uh, your contract for the accommodation and when you check the contract your uh, accommodation you can see because accommodation will have uh, different points sometimes you have it's a full furnished apartment sometimes you have semi furnished sometimes you have uh, warm meter cold meter so these two concepts are uh, the contract with warm meter is that means you have a room heating warm water included in your contract cold meter is uh, this room heating warm water is not included in your contract that means your um, your rental charges so you have to bear uh, room heating warm water charges additionally to what you pay as a rent so that these kind of small things you can check in your contract and then you can uh, sign that contract as i said if you don't have uh, have not uh, found any accommodation before you go to uh, germany you can uh, look for a temporary housing uh, by a student hostel every student hostel if you are on their waiting list they might um, have some temporary housing for you you can check that youth hostel is one of the possibility you can explore for so youth hostel you can take a membership from india and then you go to germany you can avail that um, youth hostels uh, in a cheap rates or a reason or economical hotels you can also look for we have certain useful web links mentioned here which you can always refer to you can go to the um, university towns uh, tourism website and check what uh, possibilities of accommodation are there if you go to our da ad.in in website uh, under the download you will find a document called pre departure tips and uh, guidelines uh, in this document you will find all these websites also mentioned so you can refer to those um, websites from there so the third thing is uh, of course now you have your visa you have uh, found your accommodation and before you uh, leave for germany you will pack your bags important things is of course uh, clothes now you will be arriving in germany in the month of october which is a slightly uh, cold temperature there so we always recommend you to carry some warm clothes with you for winter of course the um, very thick jackets and all you can um, uh, the proper winter wear you can buy in germany but for your initial start you can carry some of the winter wears uh, from uh, from india every uh, where you stay you normally have uh, washing machines or laundry shops nearby you even the uh, washing machines are sometimes if you are uh, sharing an apartment or living in hostel you have a washing machine common for everybody uh, uh, kept in the uh, basement which is uh, with a nominal charge you can wash your clothes you can carry your uh, medis if you are carrying uh, any medicines from india you can carry prescription with you for bedding we recover you can check what your hostel or where you have an accommodation what they are providing but apart from that you can um, you should carry at least um, some thin blanket bed linings and um, some towels you can take from here you, you just pre check with uh, your accommodation provider what all uh, is there otherwise you can buy from here uh cash and documents you can carry originals with uh, photocopies and we also recommend to carry all your documents in a scan copy so that uh, you can also uh, use it in case of emergency other items like you can uh, you take uh, universal adapter uh, for your gadgets for using your gadgets in uh, germany 
and um, just for your initial start we would recommend you to carry some your know, some of your food and some of your spices and some of your favorite items of, before you settle down in at your university at uh, your accommodations for your initial start you should have some of your uh, food and some of your favorite stuff with you which you can uh, use uh you have to arrange your travel till your university so not only uh, till the main airports but also you have to then uh, find out how you will reach till your university or till your accommodation uh you can check what airport is nearby your university town so in germany there are major airports in frankfurt munich hamburg berlin dusseldorf so and there are several other smaller airports where you can uh, reach you can check when you use your uh, book your flight you can check what student discounts you can um, get so normally if you are traveling as a student some airlines give you a uh, discount in your um, and your luggage and also you can carry more luggage being a student so these kind of things you can check check what uh, nearby airport is and from that airport then you have to manage um a train travel till your university uh, down or till your accommodation so that you can also uh, um, have to check there is a website uh, of deutsche bahn which is a german railway uh, bahn.de on that website you can check what train connections are available and once you are at the airport you can um, uh, take a uh, ticket uh, till your uh, home or uh, till your university town and then you can travel we recommend you not to travel on weekends and uh, mostly on a day time you can arrive in germany uh, why not on weekends because uh, it it may happen that some in some of the uh, towns all the shops uh, and everything is closed as so on weekends or in in germany uh, you will find mainly um, everything closed so you might not get something after your arrival so it's always better to travel on weekdays and in a preferably in daytime of course there are night buses uh, night um, are available but we still recommend you to go uh, to arrive in germany in daytime so this is all before you uh, go to germany now once you are there you have to take care of certain things now i request kirisha to proceed with uh, what steps you should follow when you arrive in germany uh, there are three steps mentioned to get german health insurance to register yourself at the university that is immatriculation and obtaining a residence permit so these three points we are going to focus on health insurance uh, german health insurance is compulsory and you can take either public or private health insurance please contact the international office of the university so what companies do they recommend and what type of insurance uh, they recommend as well and the cost is around 60 euros per month and uh, this basically uh, the international office will guide you how to get it and how to go about it and what documents you need so on and so forth you have to pay that much premium every month uh, registering yourself at the university so basically you have to enroll yourself at the university so for this enrollment you need health insurance admission letter payment receipt whatever if there are any fees or there are any other uh, enrollment charges and etc some passport size photos the visa and the original certificates you need and then the university will give you uh, the immatriculation card that's the student's id card and all these things also you need to register yourself at the foreigners registration office once you register yourself at the foreigners registration office then you go for the visa extension that's the must so that you register yourself there and then you show the uh, same paper to the extension office so to get the residence permit aliens department at you know, in your university town if you are staying in the bigger cities they might have uh, uh, many offices uh, in the cities like uh, munich berlin or hamburg but if you are staying in the smaller cities you, you should contact you should be taking an appointment of uh, that aliens office to register yourself there and uh, once you register they'll give you a paper with the stamp of registration and you have to show that uh, stamp 
in, uh, to the extension office. And for that, you need enrollment certificate or ID from university, health insurance, proof of finance, that is your blocked account, and passport with visa. And uh, apart from that, if you need any documents, then the, these are uh, mentioned on the websites of uh, the aliens offices as well. So for safety and security, uh, in case of medical or fire emergency, you can call 112. Police, you can call 110 number. And all hospitals have emergency departments that run 24 hours a day. So most of the cities, at least one pharmacy is open as well if you are in a medical emergency. And the website is also given to find out the uh, medical stores that is apotheker nearby uh, your area. So you uh, can take down these numbers as well. bank accounts uh, usually you have to open a bank account in germany uh, in case of deutsche bank they have directly uh, they can transfer your uh, blocked account into their branch in the city of your university but uh, if you have not opened it uh, by uh, deutsche bank but from uh, by kotak mahindra then you need to open a uh, bank account in Germany in your university town and then uh, submit the details of the account to the uh, Kotak Mind and then they'll transfer your account. So these are uh, some of the banks, state banks also, Post Bank, Sparkasso, Deutsche Bank. So these are some examples of bank where you can actually open your account. Telephone uh, 0049 is the uh, code of uh, international code of Germany. And you can uh, also then dial the city number and uh, state uh, and then the original number. So this is what normally it's very easy to call and it's very normal, regular procedure what we also do in India. There are uh, uh, prepaid SIM cards are available also from 10 to 15 euros. And these uh, O2 or Vodafone or T-Mobile, so they have uh, again E+. -plus, so they also have uh, their... Uh, uh, offers O2 to O2 free in in the state of uh, where you know, your university is situated in that state particularly O2 to O2 free or all over Germany weekend and all so you need to check the offers and Libara and like all these cards specifically for us for Indians these are very good cards so that you can actually call your family or friends in India uh, in lower cost. And these are also available, these cards in supermarkets or newsstands and drugstores, etc. So you can really, uh, in no time, you can get this card activated and etc. And uh, yeah, uh, in the telephone as well, you can check for the data pack as well. Usually, the universities, wherever you stay, they have their Wi Fi connection. But apart from that, you can also check with these companies. So, food and grocery. Uh, those who are vegetarians, purely vegetarians, they uh, also do not have any problems in Germany. But uh, as uh, it was mentioned in the previous slide, you might uh, you can take some uh, food items uh, to munch or some spices specifically you need with you. And uh, the economical food is actually offered in the cafeterias and the canteens of universities. There are also snack bars. These are called imbis. Uh, these are in the every city center, these imbis are there. And economical supermarkets, these are Alti, Lidl, Plus, Neto, Spar, or Hit. They have a chain. And there you really can get uh, cheaper stuff. Uh, for example, if you want to buy some potatoes or onions or uh, yogurt or milk, then you can definitely consider all these things. And if you are really, uh, if you really want some fancy items like organic or bio, by bio products and all, then you can go uh, to the uh, supermarkets um, like Edeka and Rave and all. So these are little expensive ones, but for uh, students and Aldi, Little and Plus Neto, these are really good ones. Asian shops are also there where you get Asian uh, food products like vermicelli, some noodle variety or whatnot. And you can also get, uh, there are some shops in uh, the bigger cities, definitely they're there, uh, with some, uh, you, where you can get some Indian items as well. Uh, so you please get your own shopping bags because then you have to, like in India, you have to pay for the plastic bag uh, extra. So you better take all the uh, bags with you. And for most beverages, uh, so-called fund or returnable deposit is also there. Uh, so that you will experience all these things uh, there itself. And drinking water, 
so uh, drink usually tap water is good but don't drink wherever it is mentioned it's kind drink water kind drink water means it is not good to drink that water so and wherever you go to the restaurants and all uh, if you tell them uh, the waiter only uh, water then you have to uh, they, they'll they give you the soda water they they call wasamit kolin zoira but if you have to specify it's mineral water for them so you have to specifically mention that water without soda then they'll give you normal water without soda so that's a small tip and you definitely carry all the things with you uh, for the first few days uh, to survive there you can also take, carry some ready to eat items as well so that uh, you will not have to uh, rush to the supermarkets the day you arrive in germany so that's it from our side if you have any further queries regarding pre departure regarding uh, uh, about information of study and research in germany so any information then you can certainly call contact nearby the offices we have mentioned all the email addresses of our offices in india we have five offices so you can definitely contact our offices if you have any further queries so thank you for your time and now i request Raunak, I, Raunak, I make you the presenter, and then you can present your presentation. Raunak, thank you, thank you very much. Yeah. Namaste, everyone. Uh, so it was really good what they presented. They have covered almost every good point and everything that you really need to know. I'll just try to give in some more information and more like you know. I'll try to give you some hints and tips with which you will. let's say like you know you'll feel like you are ready to do even better uh yeah i'm going to talk only a little bit about the re regular stuff because most of it has already been covered very well by uh, dhanasri didi and girija so still just at the cost of repetition i'm going to repeat some things yeah there would be some shock be ready for it be prepared for it the language what you have learned is hochdeutsch it's the book german there are so many different dialects and it is kind of good seen if you can speak the dialect as well english also you will have different accents of everybody so be prepared for that and hope that will help you but please do not forget dialect is not something bad and if you can even understand a little bit of dialect you will be okay to talk with the old people or with the teenagers as well because generally even these people are what we come across and we kind of have to at least ask them some address or something yeah you will have find people of all types teenagers might not be really that open to talk and give you hints and directions or something like if you are in some trouble or something but old people they definitely do help you so be okay with that be ready to accept that just So somehow try to not invade somebody's privacy if somebody even passes some comment on you take it as politely and happily and laugh at it and they will even tell you more like sometimes they will even help you with your bags or something be okay with that and people might not even offer you help be ready for that as well currency you know already but it's just normal i totally get it that everybody would think that okay it's just like 1 euro that means like 80 rupees do i really need to buy the lace for 80 rupees no stop doing that do not multiply by 80 please it's all for your own good uh, for the food they have really mentioned very well already but i will like to add only two things there are three types the normal food eaters the vegans and the vegetarian vegetarians are those who can eat the milk products as well vegans cannot even eat the milk product for you just when you land or whenever you are on the go and you are super hungry you want something cheap turkish doner kebab is your friend you can get it with chicken as well and without meat as well it's like some bread in which you will get all the salad and it's in even like smallest smallest towns as well you will find it everywhere almost every corner do not forget this turkish doner kebab and what we are just not used to is you know go to supermarket and find some cut fruit or something here you will find some barbers or bakeries or some small supermarkets also where you will get you know on the go food so even that is cheap and be ready be open to that because that that's going to help you a lot next the work days 
weekdays here are from monday to friday but the official timings are different for almost every place for example supermarkets are these days open on saturdays as well but everything else would be closed on saturday and sunday both days uh, banks generally close at 4 or 6 pm in the evening they start or they uh, open up at 8 9 around that timing so whatever official work that you have to do please make sure that you check their timings first for example your visa office or something there are really good chances that visa office would be open only from 9 to 12 in the morning that's all yes it's a shock but be prepared for that you need to make the appointments do not forget that uh the art stud would be open on the weekends only art stud is the old city or the city center we can where you can have parties and pubs and everything so weekend kind of is like not really productive you'll end up only enjoying or partying this exactly is what i want to tell you so that you can go further i know that for our culture it's not really good seen if you fail a subject or something but guys please empty your cup once and try to understand what i'm trying to tell you it's okay to fail in germany believe me if you can plan your stay accordingly if you can get your extended visa because you have failed a subject or something you can totally justify that in a job interview it is simply stupid to finish your studies in a hurry and then keep searching for a job the problem here is you see this big circle non student life that means once you are not a student your insurance will be higher you probably won't be able to live in a student residence and you know your expenses will be even higher and you have no income so i do suggest you to plan your studies it's okay to fail if you really need if you think if you can talk with your professor professor something do a practicum practicum is like internship so even if it's mandatory in your course or not try to get it if you are if you have some good work experience if you have contacts and everything it's all fine then you can simply go with the fast course like you finish your studies get the job and simply do it but i would rather suggest you guys to plan it somehow i know so many people have told me no it's not good i'm running low on money i have even loan on everything do get that point that money would be a problem but look for the longer term so plan your overall stay make sure that you get your visa accordingly and you don't end up on the job search visa right away it's better to extend your visa as a student at least once ha huh. <clears throat> i'll try to be as polite as i can but these are the things that i have found that have let's say somehow made the wrong impression about the indians um, it's all depends on these three pillars you have to have your own self control and discipline and you need to respect the privacy of yourself as well and the others as well you have to decide what you want to be but i do suggest you please please uninstall totally all your torrents softwares do not even seed please do not do that i have seen your cases i mean we had to negotiate but we have even seen cases where students had to pay 800 euros fine or something like that uh responsibilities with the responsibilities i mean like you know you are going to represent india please do not talk anything wrong or somehow that would like lead a bad impression about india some people would be even mean they would start with saying something bad about india and in the flow we it end up saying something yeah yeah we really have that cost cost problem and so that so please do not do that please uh if you get any bill or any some letter from any let's say organization or something like you have to pay this fine or something do not pay it directly but do not ignore it either find some international office in your university there should be also rest unwalt in your university or somewhere you can ask somebody what is it is it a scam or not don't totally ignore it and don't directly pay it either and get out of your so comfort zone do not be in only your own cries and only your studies and all go out make friends try to build a network somehow i would say uh, you know it's good scene if you are doing something extra in germany as well uh, do listen to the local radio the local radio would always help you for the music as well local events news as well and your german would go really good i know some people might have some financial problems but having a student visa 
and with the student trips like pm to am story fartan on facebook there are some groups find some weekend trips and do visit somewhere you will widen your perspective he these are like the jobs that are offered by teachers for the students inside the university uh, it's more like you know lab assistant or something but it will help you for your career as well and it will help you financially as well i know some of you might not have really good german but do not be shy even if you make some mistake germans will understand that you are trying to learn the language so please do not be shy do learn the language do improve it do practice it and it doesn't matter if you take a decision which is right or wrong ultimately you will end up somewhere good only those people who do not take any decision they cannot progress so do give it a try here it is something different that i want to tell generally we have this idea that we do the regular studies and then we'll go get the job just after the studies i have found another way as well this is more like safe way maybe somebody would be able to take this um, arrow i would say like you know jump directly from studies to job so many people will do it it's easy not really hard but if you go with these steps as well it's more like safe you know you won't fall down anywhere i do suggest you within your studies you make sure that you make some relationship with your teachers you um, see what are the new things coming up new fields that are working on people are like you know researching on some things during a internship more likely any internship is going to be between 3 months or 6 months so do take that opportunity and within that timing keep up for job fairs startup opportunities because people totally in germany also want the foreign students to stay just not to finish your studies and you know end up in debt or something during your thesis i would suggest you to deepen your skill sets in one particular topic whatever the thesis that you take and if you can do this thesis in the same company where you did your internship that's the best way i mean the company would already know you for 6 or 9 months and based on that they would rather tend to take you for a permanent job as well make sure that you get a job and only then you somehow let's say end your student status i would totally suggest you that these are some critical problems i'm sure that not everybody of you will have all the time but yeah i have to tell you because sometimes when we get desperate and we are into a different problem we don't uh, really are ready to search for some solution so i'll give you some it happens that you miss some bag or lose lose your passport or anything important fund bureau is the place that you need to search search it online even deutsche bahn and your local bus system everything they will have a fund bureau make sure that you approach them tell give them your description that the bag was this color this brand and everything and be patient you might not get the money back but at least the documents and everything you should get back even i would say you generally get that almost 80% if you have any trouble let's say like somebody is being racist these days even refugees are there and me being the international office um, representative i totally know that sometimes it is there these days a little bit of racism or a little bit of borderance please talk with your neighbors first or try to resolve it yourself and then you can totally call the police calling the police is not something bad or it's not like you know you will end up in a bad problem or something but do do that it's totally fine for any scams that might be there where you have to be like you know paying some fees or something like that first please talk with the rest and what is like law office and is generally almost there and international offices i have seen in almost every university there would be a international office there you can find the contacts of these people here do you have the system of emergency doctor these emergency doctors are more like i would say trained nurses so don't feel so bad that i have to call the doctor and the doctor would come at the late night or not sometimes even the parties go wrong somebody is super drunk or something these people the note arts people they are cool they are like young guys instead of taking some risk please make sure that you call them because anyway you will be paying the insurance it's totally worth to use what you are paying for <clears throat> uh sorry yeah do, almost in every city i'll suggest you first thing you do is verkauf suche 
एक्स वाई जेड सिटी में लाइक फरकाउफ सुखर मिशन फरकाउफ फरकाउफ सुख बर्लिन ज्वाइन दो फेसबुक ग्रुप देर समबडी वुड बी रेडी टू सेल सम थिंग्स और बाय समबडी और लाइक रिकमेंड लुकिंग फॉर रिकमेंडेशन और समथिंग डू दैट थ्रू दैट यूल टोटली बी यू नो यूल हैव अ इजी वे टू गेट इन टू द सिटी एंड यूल स्टार्ट यूर लाइफ वेरी वेल yeah that's all for me if you still have any problems or questions or something feel free to write me everything is fine thank you thank you very much thank you ranak for your presentation now uh, venus can i request you to share your um screen Yes, can you hear us? Yes. Am I audible? Oh uh, yes, very well. Hello, everyone. I'm Venus Kashyap. I am an architect by practice, and I went for an IIT Master Sandwich program. Venus. Hello, Venus. Venus, you are not. We cannot hear you. Venus, can you hear us? Hello. Yeah, Venus, are you there? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, there was some issue with my internet, but now I'm here. Yeah, so I was there for uh, IIT Master Sandwich Exchange program for about seven months, and uh, my uh, experience in uh, uh, Germany, I can sum it up in three words. The key mantra would be to learn, share, and experience. Uh, learning through academics, through peers, sharing. with your peers your mentors and experiencing all new things that are happening will happen to you there uh, okay so so academics a lot of uh, peer to peer learning happens a lot of hands on exercises happen so there is a lot of learning by doing which uh, happens in germany very different from the academic what uh, academics practice and pedagogy what is happening in india and uh, one has to understand that because of this newness you have to be open to various suggestions so uh, one should explore the infrastructure available to the fullest for your project for your thesis for your experiments and uh, do not hesitate to ask for help twice even if you think oh what will they think indians don't know they don't think anything like that anything like that they are there to help you they will help you to the fullest and you can ask for instruments you can ask for their guidance anything and definitely as uh, uh, my previous speaker said please keep in mind your future plans so if you plan on going there for a masters and you also plan on doing a phd in future why not build your project around something like that or maybe your mentor look for a mentor there when you are Uh, a lot of peer to peer learning happens but peer in terms of sharing i would like to represent here because there is definitely a cultural shock which happens uh, uh, we are not used to this type of independent lifestyle as indian students but we want to try and make as many friends as possible try and engage with other uh, students from other nationalities talk, uh, talk and share your experiences in germany good and bad both don't reserve whatever you feel to yourself it's better to talk and share uh, explore different opportunities like when you are making friends you get to know about different opportunities like i joined a ballet class and a swimming class there uh show gratitude this is something very very important use danke uh, thank people say please it's very important work hard and party harder as my friend said there's definitely a weekend a uh, scenario happening so why not use most of it play close attention to the german culture because you are there uh, you should embrace it and understand what type of culture they have and also share your indian wonderful culture uh, like i organized the whole 
holy dinner in my segment of where even my professors attended it along with all international students so uh, share your culture as well uh, experience be open to new things be open to new experiences uh, welcome everything with an open arm uh, explore your university and city and travel across germany if uh, if it is possible for you if you have some money uh, extra with you uh, you should try new food because uh, german cuisine is very different you should try uh, again indulge in local festivities maybe be october fest or christmas or easter or anything try and be there in the in, enjoy with the people there's a good chance to develop a lot of new hobbies there because the, the german landscape is very beautiful so maybe you can try trekking photography so uh, good chances for that as well the good opportunities and of course uh, with great freedom comes great responsibility do not forget you will be representing india so that's a huge responsibility i believe some things to remember uh, join a local social media group or pages on um, any social media for general information uh, uh, locate various important locations around your university like banks uh atms medical emergency transit uh, supermarkets etc uh, it's better to learn german and try to converse in german because germans will be very he helpful to you they'll open your uh, they'll, they'll be welcoming your uh, uh, try and they'll t help you out and also gps is of course uh, uh, today in today's time everybody has a gps in their phone but then i i feel there is nothing better than a warm smile helping you uh some more things to remember keep copies of your important documents it's very important because one of my friends lost a lot of documents and it was he was able to track them back because he had a separate copy so make sure you copy all your important documents carry emergency contact details always other than your mobile phone please write down your emergency contact details on a small diary or a slip or something which is there in your carry bag in your pocket carry your passport insurance and medical insurance always along while you're traveling while you're in the city in the university in case of emergency do not hesitate to call your tutor or your professor they are more than willing to help you in your emergency situations and also uh, call the embassy if you find yourself in a lot of uh, mess there and uh, try to keep some cash always handy because not always an atm is accessible in some situations so keep some cash handy uh and uh, some things from my own learnings be punctual uh follow all general rules and regulations for anything for general walking by circulation and if while you are driving a cycle anything stop calculating whatever number of euros into rupees 80 that's only going to give you stress and nothing else uh learn basic cooking because it's definitely more pocket friendly and fun so i would suggest learn some basic cooking before you go it's definitely better so all the best from my side and uh, have a great time there that's it thank you venus for the presentation uh, now we can go to question and answer session i also request ronak and venus the uh, uh, possible to answer as well so raise your palm so that we can uh, unmute you yeah ashish ashish rampure hello ashish hello हेलो हेलो अतुल भारद्वाज हेलो अतुल भारद्वाज हेलो 
थोड़ा लगे लगे हेलो अतुल भारद्वाज हेलो 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 चेतन्या कुमावत हेलो हेलो यस या यू आर नॉट ऑडिबल हेलो यस हेलो यस यू आर ऑडिबल दिस इज संचारी I want to know about job during that program when doing my master. Your voice is breaking. Hello. Hello? Yes. Are you audible to me? No, you're not audible to us. Hello. 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 Are you audible to me? Yes. Yes. Now you're yeah. audible. Okay, so I want to know about the job during studies. You can work one twenty full days or two forty half days per year during your study program, and that okay. can be from a cafeteria till uh, assisting a professor or or doing a heavy job. That that depends. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, is there uh, um, does that job uh, in cafeterias and require any special from permission from the universities? No, that's on students' visa. Basically, you're allowed to work. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Hello. Hello, Swaru. Hello, Swaru. Hello, Suraj. Ah, uh, hello. Yes. Oh, uh, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Ah, uh, I have ah uh, two queries. Ah, uh, one is with respect to the work profile there. So I have applied actually for a job. I mean, ah, uh, right now, ah, uh, what is the difference between a work student and an internship program there? Oh, that was the first question. Yes, a work student and an internship program. Ah, uh, in a practicum. Okay. And uh, the second question is, ah, uh, if I actually apply, I mean, right now I'm currently working, but I'll be quitting my job before I go over there. So once I go over there, I'm actually applying, applying to apply at another organization, as for part-time work. Ah, uh, but is there any restriction on the number of hours per week or such with respect to the visa? Of course, I'm not sure with regard to that. Ronak, would you like to answer this query? Oh sure, yes. Uh, first of all, I would like to bring your attention to two different things: the things that you are talking, work student and a um, internship. These are different things. Work student is what a student will do job, other side by side job. It would be like you can earn only four fifty euros a month. The okay. other option that you are thinking is somehow called as dual. A studio. Do I still do means what you get somehow? Let's say the company will pay for your education totally, and whenever you don't have any classes in the university, let's say like Tuesday or Wednesday you have no classes at the university, you have to be at the company and you have to work there. You end up having only weekends as free, but still that's a good idea. That's a good uh, the way to go because company already knows you. Company invests in you. So first question would be totally that, and based on that already you can answer your second question. If you have the dual studium, you have no limitation on how much, how many hours, or how much you are allowed to earn per month or per week or per year either. But if it's a work student, that would be counted within your 120 full days and 240 half days. <clears throat> I hope I have answered your question. Do you have something any? Yeah, we can. Um, Otherwise, no. you can contact uh, them directly as well. Uh, just for, as information, oh, yes. we, have, we have got a network of young ambassadors, DADs, young ambassadors. You will find the list of DADs, young ambassadors on our Delhi uh, website. And these young ambassadors, like Ronak or Venus, they have been to Germany or currently in Germany. So you can definitely contact them if you have any specific queries. Or rather, you want to get it to longer discussion, and we can go to the next question. 
अजित अजित हेगड़े अजीत अजीत यू आर नॉट ऑडिबल सॉरी यू आर नॉट ऑडिबल आई एम वेरी सॉरी हेलो अनुश्री हाय कैन यू हियर मी गो हेड विद योर क्वेरी Okay, so I've heard a lot of times like uh, they were saying you should uh, speak in Germany while you are there. So I'm like I have no knowledge of that language as such. So I just want to know how hard is it to work or to survive without actually knowing Germany. Like I'm willing to learn, but it's just a query. Like okay, like, okay, yeah. okay. Venus. would you be to answer yeah yeah so uh, the thing is it's better if you learn some german before you go uh, there are many apps available these days duolingo or some youtube videos where you can catch some basic slangs about how to find a direction how to find where the washroom is where is the drinking water uh, or a particular pronunciation of some metro stations near your university area basic things it's better if you learn and go but otherwise germany is an english speaking country as well so we will not have too much difficulty but yeah in some cases uh, uh, you might face some difficulty there so it's better if you learn some germany german language and there are a lot of apps available on uh, on your play store or your i mobile or whatever okay hope venus has answered your question you can go with the next question हेलो सौरभ बाग हेलो सौरभ या सी बी गोइंग ऑन स्टूडेंट वीजा ऑन थर्टीएथ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर सो वी वॉन्टेड टू नो दैट वेन कैन वी स्टार्ट वर्किंग आई मीन इज देर डिफॉल्ट पीरियड इन विच वी कॉन्ट वर्क और समथिंग लाइक दैट रौनक कुड यू आंसर well there is no certain period as such but you are to uh, 40 half days would end by the end of december it's not like you get the visa in october so your one year would be till october and be sure unless you have a job you cannot really even think that since when you can start working so first thing would be to find a job even a side job or something without german without contact anything at all it's not going to be that easy don't come here just to work better come to improve yourself to study as well and once you are a little bit settled then go for the work <clears throat> a private suggestion a friendly suggestion but yeah i mean you can do it but please first of all be ready that it not won't happen okay uh next question we can take of vinay nagpurkar uh yes actually uh am i audible to you yes yeah actually i have a question once we get our student visa uh, will it be treated as schengen visa as well yeah you get schengen visa from here yes uh, yes i mean i mean to say that the student visa will be considered as schengen visa right yes okay that was it. thank you so much. Uh, no thank you so much okay thank you suraj uh hi uh hi. i have one query uh, i book my accommodation currently on vege gazuk and uh-huh. uh, it's a, just a temporary accommodation for 3 months or so i think the accommodation is from the 1st of october till january end uh-huh. and uh, when i go to get my registration done from the visa office i mean from the aliens office will there be any issue because of the short term of this duration of accommodation ronak can you answer yes uh, this is a really good question uh, recently we have some problem with the refugees so many people pouring in and uh, in different cities we have different rules right now may i ask which city you are planning to go uh, can you write in the chat okay it doesn't matter if it's a uh, some city like you know particular cities have different rules these days it might be an issue in some cities like chemnitz or somewhere but 
I do would say like, you know, be prepared that you might have an issue unless you get something permanent, they won't be really able to treat you and make sure that you get the appointment and on that appointment date, you have a contract saying that you have an, a, a home here. However, it's not really a big deal. You will still get a visa for sure. Okay. It's just that you might have to go again. Whenever you get a new home, you'll have to go again with a new contract and you on your aufenthalt detail, the new address will come. Be prepared for that. Okay. We can go for the next question. Priyanka Roy. Uh, yeah, hi. Uh, am I audible? Yes. Uh, hi, hi everyone. Uh, Ronak, I had a question. Just now, uh, for Suresh Perry, you had told us uh, some information about dual studium. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I wanted to know: Is there like some any specific criteria that uh, we can apply for student criterium, or some particular website from where we can uh, apply for uh, dual studium, or like how is it? Well, uh, it's a good question. Unfortunately, uh, there is not like a central database or something like the awesome what we have for Dart for dual studio. But uh, yeah, let's say like, you know, you love, say, the company BMW or any like particular Volkswagen company or something on their websites, you'll find under careers, the dual studio, the dual studio. Uh, I would say that's the only way to make sure that you get the idea about whatever opportunities you have, but you need to decide on yourself first what company you want, which field you want. And unfortunately, that's the only way which is present right now. And as far as I know, there is no other central database or somewhere where you can simply find the dual studio options. OK, we yeah. have uh, we can take only two more questions because we are short of time now. Rohan Agnihotri. Rohan? Uh, Rohan? Ma'am, I, I don't have any question, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Okay. Ravjot Kohli? Hello, am I audible? Yes. Yeah, uh, so my question is regarding the visa process. So if my, uh, I have applied for a blocked account, but if my blocked account is not ready by the visa interview date, does, uh, does the application for the blocked account work in that case? No, usually you have, I mean, you have to have a blocked account along with the DD of the amount that you have deposited in the blocked account. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so if okay. I take a new date as well for the visa appointment. Yeah, okay. I have taken the date as well. And, yes, yes. Uh, I have applied for the blocked account, but uh, the bank said that due to the coming holidays, it might not be ready by then. Yeah, so you definitely need a letter and okay. Hello, Shavika. Hello, Shavika. Yes, uh, hello. Can you audible? Yeah. Yeah, uh, my question is like, uh, uh, we have uh, if we have applied for emergency committees out there, just because we are unable to get any accommodation uh, in, in so far. So will it cause create any problem in getting the residence permit uh, out there? Or no. in uh, this? Yeah, no. Ronak, would you like to add something? I couldn't hear actually properly. I'm sorry. He, she's uh, saying that if she doesn't get a permanent accommodation, then will it be a problematic situation for her to get a residence permit? No. OK. You'll just have to go again with the new contract and extend everything. But yeah, you as long as you have something in your hand like a contract, a contract until meets FETRAG or FETRAG, meet FETRAG, that's important to have. If you are, let's say, like, you know, on a temporary situation, like some hotel or something, you won't get the contract in the first place. That's what I would like to add definitely. So make sure that you have some contract. Its name is meet FETRAG, the rent okay. contract. That's all you need. Once you have that, doesn't matter how long it is for and only for one month or two months. Whenever it's over, you'll have to go again to the visa office and change your address. That's all. Yes, uh, we can take the last question. Ramdas. Yeah, hi. 
Can you hear me? Yes. Hello. Yeah. Hello. See, I have a question here. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, see, doctor. yeah, yeah. See, in the Bangalore consulate, uh, normally uh, they'll take four weeks to issue a student visa. Yeah. And the student visa is normally valid for six months. Say, for example. And uh, my question is, uh, yeah, my question exactly is, uh, when we uh, reached Germany, and then we have to apply for a resident uh, visa, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And how long will it take for us to receive a resident visa? Uh, basically, you get here the visa stamped uh, only for 90 days. And before these 90 days, you have to go to the extension office and extend your visa. And that okay. actually... Nowadays, they've started with so the it's smart actually in Bangalore consulate. You get it for uh, six months. That's why I asked you: uh, Is it necessary for us to apply uh, in advance, or should we actually, you know, wait for some time and then apply for resident visa? I mean, uh, it so depends on how many applications. Stand there and then apply for the permanent resident. That means the Aufenthalts detail. You have to be okay. in Germany for that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank thanks you. a lot. So thanks a lot for joining us. I would also like to thank Ronak and Venus for their precious time. And oh, you are always welcome. <laughs> you can definitely contact <laughs> our Australian ambassadors as well. And thanks a lot for joining us and keep in touch. Thank you. Now we are officially ending our webinar here. Thank you. Thanks a lot. <laughs>